Hi everyone, welcome back to the Java class. In today's session, you will learn exceptions and how to manage exceptions in Java programming language. Let us understand with the help of a programming example. So here we have stored the number of command line argument inside a variable A and we are displaying that value. Let us run this program. Let's see what will be the output of it. Here we go. You can see the output it is showing A is equal zero because presently we have not set or we have not passed any command line argument from the user. That's why it is showing the value A is equal zero. Let us add some code inside it. In P is equal to 12 divided by A here, right? And we are just trying to display the value of P, right? So here you can see the value of P we are displaying. So you will save this program. Compiler is not complaining for anything. Means this program is error free it doesn't have any syntactical error but whenever you will run this program let's see what will be the output yes here we go you can see it is showing exception in thread main java.lang.arithmetic exception divide by zero and it is showing in the line number 12. so you can see the user is expecting some output some value will be stored in a variable b but the program is showing the exceptions it is not showing the correct output so how to deal with such kind of errors i don't know because the programmer or the user may be novice maybe if programmer forget to pass some command line arguments your program will go wrong and will terminate abruptly and will perform abnormally so that is known as exceptions and these exceptions came due to the logical errors at the time of execution of the programs. So how to manage such kind of exceptions and how to just handle these kind of exceptions so your program will behave normally and it will show the desired output that the user wants. So to manage the exceptions, you will use the five different keywords like try, catch throw throws and finally so in today's session i will show you only how to use a try and catch block to manage the exceptions in java programming language so let me just help you to understand what is try and a catch block so simply you will just type try and it will show this is a try catch block this is try and this is a catch you will just enter it so what is this try block so try block contains a set of statements that may generate some exceptions. So if you are feeling that, okay, in these two statements, there may be a chance to get an exception. So you can enclose all these statements inside a try block, right? After that, for a corresponding try, you have a catch block. So catch block is generally used to handle the exceptions. In Java programming language, inside a catch, you it takes some exception class, and you can see what is it the class exception and its subclasses are form of throwable that indicates conditions that a reasonably applications might want to catch. So, generally, the exception class is the super class of all the exceptions, but above exception, there is a class that is a throwable. That is the super class of all kind of exceptions. But exception is also the mother of all the exception classes. So it will manage the exceptions. And this is an object of an exception class. So how to handle the exceptions? You will just simply add these statements. Just remove these statements from here. And just put all these statements inside a try block. Because you want or you are thinking means inside these statement there may be a chance to get an exceptions so whenever you will run it and you will just save it you can see what will be the output of it you can see you are getting something different you are getting the a is equal zero and your program is not getting terminated right so your exception is managed and it is handled so inside catch, if you would like to display some message to the user, means what is the reason not to showing the output of a variable, that variable B. So you can write some message like 
exception caught okay so whenever you will just run your program you will see what is the output of it it will show a is equal zero and x it will show a message exception caught so let me just help you to understand how this try and catch block will work so try block is a block that contains a set of statement that may generate some exceptions that's why it is known as the exception object creator if some ob if some exception will be generated inside a try block it will inform to a corresponding catch block right so try block is known as exception object creator and catch block is known as the exception handler it will handle the exceptions and here there is a class exception class that can manage all type of exceptions in your java programming language or you can add some statements inside it or you can add multiple statement inside catch block so it will be displayed and your program will be you know perform well and perform normally means your program will not abruptly terminated and will not show the uncommon behavior right so if you would like to display some message means what kind of error we have so this is an object of an exception class this is an object of an exception class it contains all the information means what is the region of an exception so whenever you will display this object that is e and you will save your program and you will run it you will see what is the output of it so it will show a is equal zero exception caught what is the exception means java.lang.arithmetic dot arithmetic exception divide by zero so it is showing the information of your exception right it contains all the information of your exceptions and it is displaying which kind of exception is generated inside a try block understand so if there will be no exception inside try block so the pointer will not move to the catch or it will just display the next statement after the catch let me just show you for example let me just add some statement here the after a catch block right so i'm just adding a statement after a catch block and i will just make this line as a comment okay this one and this one okay now let us run this program and let's see what will be the output of it just run this and you will see what is the output of it you can see it is showing a is equal zero and it is showing after a catch block means inside a try block if there will be no exception if there will be no exception it will not move to the catch block and it will directly move to the first statement after a catch block and will display the output of it okay so how this try and catch will work if some exception will occur inside a try block it will just inform to the corresponding catch and catch block will handle this exceptions and will display the information of an exception okay so you can run it again and you will see what is the output of it it will show what is the reason to get an exception so if you will pass some command line argument like you will go how to pass command line argument in eclipse let me just show you go to the run as run configuration and here go to the arguments and you can pass any argument here right go to apply and run now you will see you will not get any output you will just see the correct output a is equal one means you have passed one argument then it is showing in p is equal 12 divided by one the value of b will be 12 and inside a try block there is no exception so it will not move to the catch it will directly display the value after a catch block okay so this is about how to handle and how to manage the exceptions in java programming language in java programming you can generate different type of exceptions right you can have different type of exceptions and you can manage it so this is the way how to manage the exceptions using a try and catch block so i hope you understand some basic concepts of exception handling using a try and catch so i hope you enjoy this videos in the next session you will learn more about the exceptions and the exception handling thanks for watching bye bye for now have a great day